Hey guys, I'm Woots, and welcome to Devlog 7.5. Ooh, an in-betweener. In, uh, this Devlog, this will be going along with the other Devlog. I'll upload them at the same time, but in this one, uh, this is for people who are more interested in how I went about the playtesting process, uh, for Toaster Defense. So, I'm gonna show you what ha what I did, um, and, and the survey that I put out, and the question- I'll show you the questionnaire, and then some of the things that I did to kind of, like, you know, solve the problem and stuff like that. So, let's just jump right into it. Um, so this is the playtesting build that I put out for uh, all my playtesters. I put it out there on Google Docs. I, I, con I contacted them, gave them the link, and then they filled it out. There was uh, one thing that I added in there, this read me before playing. Um, really just kind of went through some of the things that I wanted to say to all of them. Um, you know, like, things that I knew about already. Uh, and then I, you know, kind of giving them a little bit of direction on what, uh, you know, what to do. And I even told them, please read the, 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 the read me first. And he even says, read me before playing. Not everyone did that, though, as I came to find out. But, uh, that's okay. So, in here, um, I pretty much just said, hey, there's a survey. Play it. Answer as specific as possible. Um... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna know who is who. It's all anonymous, so you can roast it as much as you want. Whatever helps make it better. I'm sure bugs and glitches will pop up. Let me know what you find. Some other things that I knew about: the music is a placeholder. Their placeholder enemy models, which I'll get into for the actual devlog if you haven't watched that yet. Um, you know, the keyboard and controller are both functional. So this is all just a bunch of stuff. Here's the controls, um, and then you know, do, you know, if you like it, let me know. I don't now await your survey. Um, but yeah, anyways, so that's that. So, after that, everyone played the game. I sent it out to 10 people. Uh, nine people actually played it and uh, sub submitted a survey. So, let me get into the survey here. So, here's my survey. Um, you know, you just go to Google Docs and you can fill out a anonymous or a survey and you can make it anonymous. There's a way to do that. Um, so you don't know who is who and so I put all these questions down here which I'll be going through individually here in a moment but it's really just like whatever I, I you know wanted some feedback on um, which was really cool and so now now I think for the next play testing session when I do that when I fix a lot of these problems and send it back out again um, I kinda have an idea of some more questions I want to go through but I'm just kinda rolling through this real fast for those of you that are interested um, you can ignore this because I, 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 I'm not accepting responses because it is over. And so, let's just start from the top. Did you enjoy playing Toaster Defense? Out of the nine people, uh, the majority said that they either, you know, they were eh on it or they enjoyed it. A couple people said that they really didn't enjoy it, which is fine. Whatever. That, I mean, that's part of playtesting. Every player, which I've come to find out, every player is a little different, which is pretty cool too. Um, because you get people who like the game and people who just don't like the game and same thing with this one right here how difficult did you find toaster defense some people said you know they found it difficult some people said this isn't hard at all this game's freaking easy so it's really fun to see like how every player is um even you know even just in how hard they find the game it's a little different so uh, ideally we want to try to find this three right here because that's the middle ground for everybody but unfortunately nobody uh was like middle of the road no one was like hey this is difficult but it's kind of easy at the same time okay so what did you enjoy the most about uh you know toaster defense and someone said winning around jumping and managing how to protect the bread uh controls were nice control game play mechanics feel good for the most part the dashing attack which we'll also get into a little bit later um, I love the animations, especially the toaster exploding over uh, upon game over. Um, let's see, building the turrets, finding an optimal layout. The physics are fun. A lot of minor, uh, a lot of polish on background details, which you'll find that in the gameplay. I have little pans on the on the you know little pan rack on the wall, and if you shoot or you go through them or you shoot bread through them, they 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 make a little ding noise and they wave. So that's pretty fun. Uh, someone said shooting things. And the general concept of the game is a fun spin on tower defense game, plus the art style is really on its way to look near perfect, which I've been trying to work on as well. That's another thing in the dev vlog, so you should watch that when you're done watching this. Um, what did you find the least enjoyable about Toaster Defense? And this is one of the ones I really wanted to look at, and I was, uh, you know, and I got a lot of different responses too, because, you know, up here someone said uh, shooting things was something they enjoyed the most, but if you look right here, what did you find least enjoyable about Toaster Defense? The shooting mechanic. So it's like the complete opposite. I like shooting things, but uh, some people just like 
didn't like it at all. So, you know, I'll just kind of just go through this real quick. Um, the toaster being so weak, single touch and poof, you're dead, which is true. Um, it's not that fun with the level as of right now. It's a, it's a you know, forward bucket because all the enemies are going downwards. So, uh, you know, someone said they had a hard time moving uh, vertically on the map. Um, let's see, once the black, the big black and red enemies come out, uh, the waves pretty much feel the same. So that's something I, I got into a lot too. The, uh, the enemies feel, you know, the waves feel very redundant. And that's something that we try to start working towards in the next devlog. I mean, sorry, in, in devlog 7. Um, more enemies, uh, blah, blah, blah. It feels repetitive without any changes between waves. Once I had all uh, turns to play, there's no real reason to leave the bottom of the level. That's also something that we tried to, uh, to solve in the devlog. Uh, it felt like the best strategy was me to wait for the enemies to reach the bottom and shoot them all at once. Um, much more defense systems are required, especially when you reach level 30. I had a lot of coins at that point, but being able to swatch between the fan and the lamp. So basically not, you know, they, we had all these coins, but nothing to do with the coins. And that's something that we got to work on in the future anyway. Um, let's see, everything is built. You can camp the lower level. Uh, there really isn't a variety of gameplay. The movement, mobility, the controls do some work. Some people felt like it was a little floaty. Um, and someone said it's pretty easy. So that's pretty interesting to see like all the different things that other people did not like about the game. Uh, well, how likely are you to share toaster fence with friends and family? This is something that's very important because as an indie game dev, word of mouth is huge. So if you're in you're into uh, if you're an indie game dev, word of mouth is like huge. So how likely are you to share toaster fence with friends or family? One person said, I ain't sharing this with nobody. I ain't sharing this crap with nobody. Uh, three people also said, I'll probably not. I'll probably not share it. One person said, I might. And then four people are like, yeah, I'd probably say something. And no one would say, I absolutely have to tell someone about this game, which is where we want to try to be. Obviously, that's where you want to try to be. Do you think toaster fence is a good name for the game? That's what I'm going with. And uh, the majority of people said that it was good or that they liked it. One person said, no, I don't like the name. So the majority of people said, it's a good name. So I, I don't know, that's something I think I'm going to stick with anyway. I wanted to get some thoughts on the character designs. So I put all the people uh, or all the characters on there uh, that we had, that we have in the game at the time. Um, so the toaster oven, people said they majority liked it. Actually, the majority loved it. <laughs> that's good. That's the main character, so that's what you want to see. So the majority of people loved the toaster oven, and if they didn't love it, they liked it. Nobody hated it. The toaster, the, the little uwu kawaii toaster, uh, a lot of people, majority said they liked it. Uh, a lot of people said they loved it, and then one person said they hated it, but they go into detail later, which we'll get to. They go into detail later. Uh, so for the lamp, uh, the majority of people, looks like, actually the majority of people loved it. Um, and then, you know, we're pretty split on hate it and like it. Uh, and then the fan looks like the majority of people either liked it or didn't like it. And then uh, a lot of people, or I guess, I guess a, good, a good amount of people said they loved it. Not the majority though, because we got nine, so we're looking for over, you know, five or more. So the green enemy, nobody loved the green enemy. So, you know, that's one of the first enemies that I made uh, in the game. And they're actually a variation of another enemy that I cut out. So if you watch my very first devlog, um, you'll kind of see these little guys slamming into the ground and that is what you know these guys I took their head and I popped them on a body and was like sweet let's do this and uh, you know they kind of they kind of aged a little bit so I'm trying to get a little more cartoony with my excuse me my uh, my enemy designs um, but the majority of people said eh it's like some people were like nah so what are your thoughts on the level the design the layout the graphics etc uh, majority of the people said, um, actually, it's kind of, kind of split here. Uh, no one loved it. No one hated it. A lot of people were like, it's okay. Some people said it's good. And then, you know, a third of the people said it's, it could use some work, essentially. Which I think a lot of people go into the, uh, the specifics there later on. So, this one's a fun one. What do you think could be most improved on, in Toaster Defense? Whoops, <laughs> I, I had a typo there. No one... Uh, no one said typos could be improved on. Oh, well. But they knew what I meant. That's good. So, this person gave a big wall of text, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, they said it could be more agile, more lethal, more resilient for the character towards enemies, which I tried to go into for the for the dash. Um, upgradable towers is a good start, but I only feel used for the fan as the map layout really to prevent me. So, really, I gotta, gotta figure out, like, you know, making the fan more useful, maybe. Um... 
so yeah, there's that. More more varieties and weapons and enemies. Uh, the waves. The rel reliability of your dash, which is something we try to start working on in Devlog 7. Um, sometimes I would use a dash on a normal enemy and I would just die, which that does happen. Um, but I, you know, I've tried to fix that up quite a bit. Uh, let's see, more movement around the level. Like I said, a lot of people camp at the bottom of the ground, or the, you know, on the bottom level, um, and they, uh, you know, they just camp there. And that's something we go into a little bit on Devlog Seven. Like I've said, um, whether yeah, defenses, power ups. Yeah, okay, so some reason to move up back up. Uh, the, the level design is easily exploitable. Maybe keep the player from just camping in the bottom corners. Um, jumping is polished. Hitboxes feel unfair at times. Maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> Uh, no, but yeah, they, they have a valid point. Uh, the movement, uh, as I mentioned, needs some work. Tighten up the controls to make it feel a lot better to play. Uh, okay, so then we got the flow of the map keeps the player engaged all the time. I personally found myself camping at the bottom floor. Okay, so same thing. So like I said, a lot of people said they stayed at the bottom of the floor, and that's not what we want. We want people to be moving constantly. So next one is, what would you change or add to toaster defense? Um, let's see, bosses, upgrades, which I want to try to do bosses. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, upgrades, uh, the player's personal weapon, uh, more movement options, like a ground pound. So just more, um, more options how to attack enemies, basically. I uh, would add different level designs with potential boss battle. Another person said boss battle. Would change the shooting mechanics not to be as stiff. Uh, this person actually gave a lot of suggestions, which is awesome. That means they really dove in there and they uh, they, they really had some good ideas. Um, but, you know, invincibility frames at the end of the dash attack. Uh, let's see, full screen mode. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find things that are like big, big points here. Uh, pausing, add enemies that would target a player. So kind of like a different kind of enemy, which we're working on. Uh, loud, re uh, loud reload when ammo is not at zero, which we do add in there. Um, it's one of the buttons in there, so I guess I just got to be more um, specific or more. You got to communicate better which button you need to press to reload. Uh, okay, so oh, adding more a, more, a couple more stages. Yeah, so I definitely want to add more stages. I really just got to get to that point where like the game feels good. But then I have an I do have a good idea for where I'm going with the game. Um, Let's see, the colors and shadows in the, in the level. That's something that um, I think I know who this was. Uh, and I really do value their um, artistic ability. They're very, if it is who I think he is. Uh, well, I guess I have a lot of good talented artists on the, in this. I, actually, like a lot of people that I went to school with. So, um, but, but, but yeah, but if this is who I think it is specifically, I do value their artistic ability. So I, I did kind of, I did take that to heart and I did try, I did make some changes. If you watch the devlog, uh, the game looks much different. So I hope it's in a, the right direction. Um, let's see, unlimited ammo, uh, but a very short range melee. We kind of, we kind of solved that with the dash, uh, new enemies, a boss, new weapons, new maps. So that's a lot of things that they just want to add more stuff in there. Uh, the color palette, um, so yeah, there's all this, you know, talking about how we can make changes to the level to make it look more visually appealing. Uh, and then reloading indicator, and it's something that I already mentioned, um, that I knew about. I put it in the, in the, in the readme, you know, I kind of knew the reload wasn't 100% ready to go. Um, let's see, main menu, yeah, I gotta put, I gotta put a menu in. Um, let's see, I think the layout could, might, uh, yeah, the, the menu layout might need a little bit reworking. Also, the keyboard buttons could use remapping, which I already did change these to these buttons, and it actually is a lot, a lot more better. I'm not a keyboard player, because so like that's something I wanted to know. I don't play on keyboard. I'm I'm a uh, I'm a I'm, I'm a controller guy. So like when it came to mouse and keyboard, like I don't really know what I'm doing. So it was good to hear feedback from someone that's, that does play with keyboard that said, "Hey, try these buttons instead." That's great. So, let's see, any bugs or glitches? I'm not going to really go through all these, but there's a lot of bugs and glitches that I took note of and tried to change. Um, some little things that I totally even forgot about and someone else, you know, found it out. This person really went into in-depth to, uh, to, to give me all the um, awesome bugs that I have. <laughs> let's see, so there's a lot of things I know about here. Um, all right, so here's another big question. How much would you pay for toaster defense as any game dev? The goal is to make money. You know, you want to make money if you want if you want to make games. If you want to do games like, if you want to make it your job. Uh, so, how much would you pay? Someone said it's hard to tell right now. 
Um, some person three bucks, some person ten to fifteen dollars, which is huge. I'd be willing to pay more if there's more content added, which that's crazy. That blew my mind. So I think they're just being very nice. Um, ninety nine cents. That seems more realistic. Ten dollars. That's also pretty good. Currently three to five, which is probably the uh, the range where I'm thinking it's going to be. Um, my guess would be at most four ninety nine. Um, but it's good to see, you know, what, how much people thinks, think, uh, how much the game is worth, you know? Uh, let's see, this person said, I think, Bloons Tower Defense is $7. So, uh, you know, so it's good to see what other people are doing, too. So, 5 to 15, too early to tell. And then I also wanted to know how far you made it in the game before dying, before getting a game over. This is just a question I wanted to know, like, how far people could get. So we have 16, 7, or 16, 8, a whopping 67 waves, 20, 44, those black enemies are tough, uh, those are the guys that are now um, the new Roly Poly guys if you watch the devlog. If you haven't, you're going to find out who they are. Um, 31, late teens, I need to get good, uh, 8, 32, but I played extremely safe and I could go much further. Um, let's see, okay, any additional thoughts? Uh, basically saying this could use a little bit of you know a little bit of polishing up. It's bare bones. Uh, I don't hate. Okay, here it is. I don't hate the design for the toaster defense. I feel the art style. The art style is so vastly different from other characters that it clashes. So this person says, "Hey, I feel like the toaster oven is clashing with the others." So that tells me, you know, as I'm creating characters, I need to make another character that kind of works with this one. So they kind of do feel like they're the same. Which I think it's the eyes, because everyone else has wide eyes with black pupils. And the toaster has, you know, it's like a Pikachu. It has black eyes with white little, white, you know, white little shiny pupils. What do you want to call them? I don't know. Uh, let's see. The scale. Fix, fix, the, fix the scale, which I tried to work on. So, yeah. That's basically... Uh, this person's really nice. You're a very big inspiration, which is very nice of them to say. Um, so, yeah. So, that is... That, that was all the questions and the in-depth look. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully, there's a lot of you still here. I did pretty much just try to go through everything, try to be as transparent as possible. So here we are in my Trello board. So now that I took all that information, here's what I did and I uh, put it into my Trello board. You can ignore all this stuff over here. Um, and I put my super list of to-do lists, you know, things that I thought, you know, I think I could put in there and I need to put in there. Um, and then, so here's my playtester feedback suggestions. And so I went into here and I broke everything up that stuck out to me. Like, and, and, you know, could actually, you know, warrant my time. And so we have enemy variation and I kind of go in here and I say from the enemy, oh, whoops, I just copy and pasted that one. But anyways, so now I tried to go in here and say in the December 2020 testing phase, almost all players commented that the waves became too redundant due to lack of enemy variation. They also stated that they, they, uh... Oh, they also stated that they at the bottom. <laughs> I forgot a word there. They stayed at the bottom uh, by the toaster and camp. Need to create enemies that will attack turrets and take different paths to mix up things, uh, things on players and give them a reason to move constantly. To, to reason to move constantly throughout the map. So we have uh, tightening controls, invincibility frames. Um, some players commented that they, you know, so you get the idea. This includes movement, floaty jump, better dash, invincibility, after dashing and responding. And then this is what I did. Added a bigger radius for dashing, adjusted jumping slightly. And then same thing. Oh, I actually didn't even write anything here. I'll write something now. Created turret attacking enemy. Uh, we'll just put today's date. 21, 21. Even though I actually did it before that. Cool. So now I kept track of when I did it. Hey, today's 2121. That's pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> increased time. Oh, someone did suggest that we we put more time between waves. So I did that. I doubled the wave time. I did this on December 30th. I added a meter to show how long it is until the next wave. So you'll see that in the game. Underneath waves, there's a little meter now that, uh, that, that goes down to give you an idea how long it's going to be. Uh, the reload time. But I knew about this. Um, let's see, so during the testing phase, a large majority, maybe all of players commented on the shooting mechanic one way or another. So I, I basically was like, hey, I need to put some audio and visual feedback. Um, I already knew about this one, but it's interesting to see how much it affects gameplay. And so uh, on January 13th, I added the visual and the feed, and audio and visual feedback in there. So this is another one, screen resolution. A, a few players asked for the ability to change screen size. 
uh, and play full screen. So that's something I need to work on, add more levels. Uh, most players ask for more levels with different styles, um, maybe a horizontal map rather than a vertical map, and then boss battles. A few players ask for a boss battle every uh, certain amount of waves, similar to Multiman Smash in Super Smash Bros. So if you play that, you know, like every, was it, 25 uh, enemies, like uh, a legit a legit character pops out and you got to fight that. So that's really how I went through the whole process. Hopefully that helps somebody out. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, thanks for sticking around this long. Uh, now you can go back and watch the other devlog. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of insight. If you guys have any questions on how else I went about playtesting, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Hasta la vista, baby.